All right, so I ordered two or three sample dog mattresses, cushions, and in the mail today we get these tiny little boxes. So either I messed up really good or this is gonna be impressive when we open it. Watch out, Josh! Oh! Ooh. Dog beds, version 2.0, although since apparently it was nearly perfect the first time, there's this is not enormous amounts of change other than this has gotten bigger. Josh, what do you think of this dog bed? I, to be honest with you, I surprisingly like it a lot. The biggest thing I can see, ooh, this is nice. Kelly has been doing dog cushion research. What have you learned about dog cushions? Surprisingly little. Okay, great. What I had suggested was sort of spin around and get cozy. That's what we need to do. I am not a dog, but this looks comfortable. But I think we could actually drop it a little lower so that this is like tucked in more. So your, your feel is whatever mattress solution we end up coming up with, we should size the bed to match. I think so. I think you'd want like an eighth of an inch. It should like, it basically should, should capture it, I think. Bed. This is like standard pet bed. It is bed. listed as a dog bed. I don't think they did a good job. I don't think it breathes. I don't think it breathes. I don't like the cat. There's a cat on that. Bed shirt. Comfy bed. I knew when I saw the cat, this was gonna be bullshit. This is it. But this is just, it's just, it's just, it's um, what do you call that? Egg crate. Does the egg crating make it or, 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 or orthographic, or orthopedic? Yeah. This is not memory foam. I want the purple mattress for my pupper. I think honestly the hardest thing about this bed is going to be the mattress. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take this back to Massachusetts, that back to Massachusetts. I'm gonna take all this dog stuff back to Massachusetts. That is an actual dog bed that is purchased by whatever, what is this brand? BF Pet Home, best friend pet home. This is it. Like that is a pet this, mattress. That's not great. I don't know. There's better ones. It it's feels like phone. it's filled with newspaper. I don't know that my dog would accept this. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, no. This, Jesus, this, that is, is way is more aggressive than I was thinking. It's stabbing <laughs> the animals. <laughs> I could rip this. Yeah. This is gonna be easy. The bar is low. This is the same material that uh, like carnival stuffed animals are made of. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got another dog bed in here. Okay, okay. It feels like the same. I think it's the same, a lot of stuff. Do you have pet home? Bed sure. This is bed sure. Comfy pet. It's made in the same oh, factory. Oh, I would, yeah, it's definitely the same factory yeah. it's made. <laughs> this one has a few little differences. Uh, we just sort of, okay. Let's do revisions, critiques, rip them apart. This one has inside bevel. Yep. This one's sharp on the inside and it's got it on the outside. And it wouldn't be sharp, we would, we would ease it. Yeah, I definitely don't like the end finishing on this style with like the flat. Flat end. Yeah, it's a little weird. That's yeah. weird. And I don't like this. The space? No. You want that to be like. Oh yeah, no. You I want this I to be think, like yeah. full up. The mattress should like, it's like, like tuck in. Like I agree. Uh, to me, it just looks a little like almost like too geometric. This is made up of just a bunch of hard lines, like the MGT, which is good, but it works. But if we're talking about okay, how do we refine it? When I think of mm. dogs, when I think of beds, I think comfy. I think cute. I feel like curves and things like that is better like it's gonna look more comfortable and then if a dog's resting its head anywhere it's not like there's not hard edges keeping things angular is a little bit more well it's more in the modular game table visual style i see this is like you've got your modular game table in your dining room and you want this either in your living room or your bedroom or maybe even in the dining room near it and yeah. it's just gonna work in sort of the, that aesthetic. You gotta do something about this. What are we gonna do? You don't yeah. like how it's round? Uh, that, I hate this on everything. Inside rounds are gross. Outside rounds are good looking. That's how you cut something by just sweeping a router around it. It's very cheap and easy to do. He has opinions. <laughs> <laughs> the outside bevel, you avoid all those problems. The outside bevel is more modular game table. I would take this version and drop it down. I agree, this is the awkward part. I'm almost like, why don't we melt this like the armrests? 
can just literally keep the same look and everything as MG2. Right? Flip like, it. What Jason is advocating is that we take this piece and you flip it, and so now the bevel is on the underneath. What that's gonna do is it's gonna make it look thinner. Top bevels, it makes things look wider. Under bevels, which are undercuts, it makes it look thinner. So you, you're on team flip the script. I think so. I think we should lift, make these legs yep. a little bit taller and throw a pretty big bevel on here too. Oh, I think that's gonna like thin the whole thing up. Got it. Which I think would be nice. Got it. Okay, in terms of personalizations, because I want to see fat Sam engraved on one of these bad Larrys. Yeah. Crazy, I did whip up this. So this would be for the front, and then that could accept personalization. That's, that's so awesome. That's so awesome. You like it? Yeah. Is that? Yeah. So here's where I'm at for the next version. Take one of these bad Larrys, put it on the front so we can get like personalized fat Sam engravings. We're gonna take this armrest, we're gonna flip it, and we're gonna drop it. And then we're gonna see what that looks like. And I'm hoping if we can all agree, like that would be the most modestly styled bed solution I think we could come up with that would be yeah. to our standards. Yeah. I'm gonna do these changes. I'm gonna have them actually sand it and finish it. And then... Is Fat Sam coming in? Fat Sam's available, yeah. Will Fat Sam fit in this? In terms of sizing, how do you feel about the size? Fat Sam would fit in this. Let's so make you it wanna, You wanna go even bigger? It's gonna be the XL. All right, so we're gonna have a large, a medium. Let me pitch. <laughs> Let me pitch. Can I pitch? Let me pitch. Get over there! The Crazy Ed small dog bed right over here crazy ed mad lad god bless him he made a coffee table dog bed so now this is a, the size of a lilliput you can have magnetic rails and it is accessible if you want to like get to the bedding and clean the bedding and all that stuff this is such a good idea. I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. And this is the thing for the little dogs, like the Chihuahua, the little burrowing dogs, yeah. they're just gonna wanna like go in and have their blankets and it's like they feel yeah. safe and cozy. Yeah. And you're just like, hey pupper! <laughs> it's a better solution than making a bed that's this big. We Why wouldn't we just do toppers? Just magnetic toppers. Yeah. I love it. Just the yep. same that we do for the MG2? Same yep. skew. We same skew. ship out Lilliput It's, wow. it's a Lilliput, yeah. It's not a Lilliput. No. It's, it's a, a little pup. Little pup. That sounds <laughs> my little pup is in the little pup. <laughs> I think it's great. I think Ed yeah, did a great job. Cool. Could we put a uh, like a gate on the front so it doubles as a kennel during the day when you're gone? Oh. oh some yeah. dogs suck. Gotcha. So then what we would want is just some sort of add-on that could actually oh. convert it into a it should store right here. The idea that this doubles as a coffee table and a dog bed combo is just very powerful. Especially if you live in like a small apartment setting, you just mm. saved yourself like a ton of space. I do concern like, it feels like that's gonna be, our smallest dog bed is more expensive than these dog beds. Yeah. Yes. So it feels like we still need like a simple version of it. Make a small version yeah. of like, we have like that line, then this. Okay, I'm gonna miss the gaming. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna be smoking weed with a bunch of dogs, and that's the future of our dogs. I heard that you wanted to blow up a cat, so I was like, if we could find, if we could find a stuffed cat that looks enough like the cat that's stuck in my house, I could pull that off. But we don't actually kill a cat. But so, nobody, nobody just to be clear, I never advocated we kill a cat or blow up a cat. <laughs> what I advocated was, is we fill, like we get, like we film, like one of our dog beds with a cat, like going up to it and like stepping onto it, and then we, with editing, <laughs> with editing, we cut and show the bed explode, and then they will think that the cat exploded. What a day for a daydreaming boy, and I